What's happening, Matt Squad? It's Joe, aka Fat Joe FC. Um, I can't remember which one of you requested this to me, so I apologize for that. But one of you saw one of my other bomb video reactions and requested me to react to the largest nuclear bomb, TSAR Bomba. So I expect to see a lot of explosions. So let's check this out. On a cloudy fall day, a Soviet Tu-95 bomber flies over the island Novaya Zimla, located in the Arctic Sea. Reaching a height of 35,000 feet, the pilot drops his ordnance. The Tsar Bomba, a 50 megaton nuclear bomb. Within moments, the fusion device detonates, shooting a flash of light through the atmosphere, visible from 600 miles away. It was, and remains, the largest nuclear detonation in history. It was originally designed to be 100 megatons. Look, I'm no bomb It very nearly killed the senior officer who was piloting the aircraft that dropped the test article. Capable of destroying everything within a 15-mile radius and delivering third-degree burns within a 64-mile radius. How long is 15 miles? The Tsar Bomba remains the final word in total annihilation of an enemy target. Today, the Tsar Bomba is but a reminder of the Cold War arms race and the danger of an all-out nuclear war that would have likely caused the destruction of both the U.S. and Soviet Union, if not the world. <laughs> Yet okay. the threat of nuclear attack from our former I'll adversary remains. If you the risk of bomb, accidental you know attack is more serious, okay. I think, than most people uh, realize. The Russians maintain a large every time. nuclear arsenal. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, they've had a huge economic setback. Their warning system has deteriorated terribly. There are gaps in their radars. Their satellites have broken down. The Russians, of course, reassure us that, no, we have nothing to worry about. But the consequences would be so grave that we should take it very, very seriously, even if it has a minuscule chance of happening at all. The threat of a nuclear attack from a rogue nation okay, say, or a well-organized stateless group up. is also cause for grave concern. Whether North Korea has nuclear weapons is very much in the press today. Or should terrorists get their hands on sufficient nuclear materials, either to make a non-nuclear weapon, a radiological weapon, or to actually get a nuclear detonation, however small, would be a horrendous uh, attack. The evolution of precision guidance systems has eliminated the need for large yield nuclear weapons like the Tsar Bomba. But make no mistake, the detonation of a one megaton nuclear bomb would yield more destructive power than any weapon the world has ever seen. Weapon, thermonuclear warhead. Yield one megaton surface blast. Energy released. Blast, 50%. Thermal radiation, 40%. Fallout, 10%. To comprehend the true lethality of a thermonuclear explosion requires an understanding of the massive oh amount of energy God. that's released upon detonation. When a thermonuclear bomb detonates, an instantaneous fission reaction creates a secondary fusion reaction, fusing hydrogen and its isotopes together to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy. Then it occurs in a very small volume. Therefore, the total energy divided Look, by the volume is either. very okay. large. Some of this is and that means the temperatures are stupendously high. Temperatures that are higher than the center of the sun. Detonation. A thermonuclear bomb emits a stream of X-rays, infrared rays, and gamma rays. This is referred to as thermal radiation and is visible to the naked eye in the form of a brilliant flash of light. 
lasting from one to 10 seconds. It emits all of this X radiation that's absorbed by the air around it. The outside of the air is burning. It's forming basically small. The nitrogen and the oxygen are reacting, turns brown, and that so the crazy, light man. coming out actually goes down until that burns off, and then it goes up again. The heat from the infrared rays will set people and buildings on fire. That's the X-rays will irradiate those closest to the explosion. The X-rays don't get very far. They're absorbed by the air. The air is then heated up by these X-rays to millions of degrees. The immense heat expands the air around the point of impact, creating a spherical shock wave and winds that can reach hundreds of miles per hour. And if it were a humid day, you would be able to see that shock wave running along the ground and through the air because it would cause instant condensation of moisture in the atmosphere and you'd see sort of a white ghost of a shockwave traveling through the air. The wind from the shockwave extinguishes the fires caused by the thermal radiation, but will flatten everything in its path within a radius of two miles. You get the expansion out, but then the thermal plume of the bomb is rising. The mushroom cloud is forming. That's and so crazy. you get a counter flow, which when air flows up, it sucks things in. And so you get a reversal of the flow as things flow back toward the detonation center and rise. A one megaton surface explosion will lift tons of soil up into the mushroom cloud, which will become irradiated and return as fallout. So the heaviest down. fallout particles will rain down closest to ground zero. They'll rain down dirt. People exposed to this fallout will die in a matter of hours from acute radiation sickness. They'll die from dirt? The smaller particles may travel thousands of miles, depending on wind velocity. If you ingest the material and it stays in your body, the long-term impact is that it can produce significant excess cancer of various sorts. There we go. The combination of thermal fun. radiation, shockwave, and fallout could potentially kill millions, making the thermonuclear bomb easily the world's deadliest weapon. By 2004, the nuclear fraternity consisted of seven countries that had all detonated nuclear devices. Other countries were desperately working toward joining the family. Thus, there appears to be no end in sight to nuclear proliferation, and no end to the threat of attack from the world's deadliest weapon. According to the Center for Defense Information, there are approximately 30,000 intact nuclear warheads worldwide. Why? All but 200 are retained by the United States and Russia. Where the rest? Deadliest weapons will return on Modern Marvels. So... I can't be the only one who's worried about this. The us, the US, and then Russia, in total, have 200 intact nuclear bomb warheads. So, where are the rest? They're intact. Where are the rest of them? Why do why do these have to be made? Here's the question. Why does there have to even be war? It's like us as the human species like I don't know what it is about us there always has to be some kind of tension hate anger all of that and then there always has to be war um I was watching Rush Hour like two weeks ago and it was my first time watching it and this one song played and it's now one of my favorite songs 
I think it's just called War. I think it's just called War. And I can't remember who it's by. But it talks about like how basically like why does there have to be war? You know, like what is it good for? You know? And that's what I think in real life. You know, why must we have why must there always be some kind of tension between people? I have no tension towards anybody, okay? I'm just a positive person. We all know that. And I'm pretty sure that's how some of you are. Well, obviously, this channel is a positive channel. And I just don't see why the world has to be like this. I don't know. It could just be me thinking, but it's crazy. It's crazy. We only have 200 out of 30,000. So what I want, what was the day of this video? How long ago was this? 2014? It's 2017. Well, look, I'm no math mathematician. Uh, Is that what you would call a mathematician? I'm no mathematician. I'm no scientist. Okay, I'm just an average guy who knows average things. So, I know some of you who are watching this are definitely smarter than me and know your stuff. So, let me know. If you know anything about the other 29,800 nuclear bombs, if you know where they're at, not that I need them, but just, you know, and then let me know some other stuff of other questions I asked during the video, because that's crazy. One day, they're going to create a bomb so big, and then some war is going to happen, World War Three or whatever, and I apologize for the lighting, um, sun's kind of dimming down, um, but one day, it's like someone's going to create a bomb so devastating, bigger than the nuclear bomb, bigger than the atomic bomb. And is just going to completely end the earth if they don't stop. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just one of those people who's corny and wants world peace, even though in reality it will never happen. That's the reality of it. But optimistically, it's like I wish we could have world peace. So, it's crazy, it's crazy, and just before I leave, um, I wanted to, you know, tell you guys how crazy it is, like, how much I missed doing this, you know, um, reacting to videos and talking with you guys, because it's been almost a week, and, um, you know, like, the first day or the, the first day where I had it, my, had to upload, I had already missed it like crazy, like, it was ridiculous, like, I missed it so much, because this has, YouTube is literally a part of my life now, okay, I upload, like, literally every single day, I mean, excluding the little retreat I was just on, but I had to do that, um, but other than that, I've been very consistent with my uploading, and that's the best way you can grow as a channel, is to be consistent at whatever it is you're uploading. Be consistent, and that's what I've done, and so far, I have 3,175 amazing subscribers, so something's definitely working. So, I just want to let you guys know that missed it, and I'm glad to be back and doing it again. 
and as of right now it will continue so if you all enjoy my reaction and my discussion let me know what you thought links to all my social media will be down below in the description box if you enjoyed this video give the like button a thumbs up ding dong that subscribe button share it um so other people know they can join the mad squad and join us on our journey to 10,000 subscribers my name's joe aka matt joe i hope you all have a marvelous day mad out